Time right now, 835. Gun violence is the leading cause of death among children in the United States. And now one organization is taking their anti-gun violence campaign international. This morning, we're joined by Manuel Oliver, founder of Change the Rough, who lost his son, Joaquin, in the Parkland School shooting in 2018. Manuel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So you started Change the Rough after Joaquin died, and you've created many different anti-gun violence campaigns since. So what makes this new one different here? Well, uh, let me just correct you in something. Joaquin didn't die. Joaquin was killed. Uh, and those are two different things. And, and part of that difference is what makes us react in this way. Uh, why this is different, we're, we're, we're trying to approach an international um, angle. Uh, I think that we have tried everything possible here inside the United States, and I don't see any intention of solving the problem. You just said it in the intro, like this is the number one cause of death for our kids. If that is not enough to do something, then, then we are part of a problem. So we're going outside of the United States, and we're promoting the idea of adopting American kids so they can be um, but to other places that are safe enough and we are, will prioritize their lives over gun rights or anything different than just that, the pursuit of happiness. How frustrating is it for you as a father to watch the gun violence that has continued to happen since your son was killed? It's very, very frustrating. Um, it seems that they don't see what I see, uh, which means that they're not looking at the reality. So and when I say they, I'm talking about mainly politicians, but also people like how come we are so selfish that when a kid that is not your kid, you actually don't do anything to solve the problem. I think we, we need to be concerned about every single kid. I'm concerned every day. You just you were talking about a shooting miles away from where I live. I'm concerned about that. So when we all start being concerned about the others, maybe we can start working together. That is a very American selfish attitude that we cannot tolerate anymore. So I've seen these posters and they're very powerful. You've traveled all the world, all over the world to put them up. Yes, uh, it's like um, like in any other situation where where people are um, going through a, a danger aspect of society, we are going through a danger aspect of society. So other nations usually help. They get together, they support, and they save kids. So this is our time to do what we haven't done ever, which is receive help. Uh, we are very arrogant as a country. We believe that we can support and help and change things in other places, but we never thought that other countries, other leaders, other societies will be able to help us here with this problem. I really think that we are not able to do this alone. Uh, I can I can tell you, it's been decades. It's not that Joaquin was shot six years ago. It's been decades of gun violence culture, and we need to change that. And any tool that we use will never be as crazy as an absurd as my son being shot inside his school with an AR-15. And since you've started this campaign and really traveled to all these countries, um, what has the response been to seeing these and just talking to people who are there? Well, it's it's a slow process. I get that. Uh, we, I don't think that we have a solution in one campaign. But I do think that by bringing all these campaigns, all the, the effort that we are do, using technology, using um, the, the ad um, industry, using the creatives from all around the planet, that whole big picture will eventually create another point of view, another narrative. That Those results I can see now. I can see people following us just because they, they do appreciate the effort of creating the urgency element here. And, and you don't create an urgency element by doing the same things that we have tried over and over and over. You create a surprise campaign and you impact them and, and, and people will feel that emotional side of this. You adopt an American child. Adopt, save, save us from USA. Now, under the posters that you saw, thousands, thousands of these stickers were placed in different cities, first world uh, country cities. So probably this is a good step, at least to start the conversation. Wow, a very powerful campaign. Thank you so much, Manuel Oliver, for joining us this morning. Thank you.